How to make a root cellar There are many different types of root cellars and many different methods of building them. Here I'll just be describing my personal experience in building one with access directly from the basement. Important elements of an underground root cellar Make the root cellar large enough for your future needs, since it cannot easily be enlarged in the future. I made mine large enough to put shelves with a depth of 18 inches around three sides and was very pleased with the result. You'll want high humidity, but not so much moisture that you have standing water or excess condensation. If possible, locate the root cellar in an area that naturally gets good drainage. Ideally, it needs a perimeter drain or drain pipes placed inside. It's important to have an air intake vent as well as an exhaust vent. This keeps things cool by allowing cold air to enter the root cellar and warm air to exit. This cross ventilation also removes any excess humidity and the ethylene gases that are given off by ripening produce. The root cellar must be kept cool enough to preserve the vegetables and fruits, but not so cold that the produce freezes. The soil around and above helps keep the temperature more constant. Vents bring in cool air from the outside when needed. Insulation makes it easier to keep the coolness in. The ideal humidity ranges from 80 to 95% for most vegetables. The best way to keep the humidity high is to have a dirt floor. There are some vegetables that require lower humidity, such as winter squash, and these should not be stored in a root cellar but rather in a drier place. I hired someone to dig an initial test hole, and assuming we found a place to put the root cellar, to also set up the drainage pipes, and otherwise prepare the site. Locating a root cellar on the north side of the house is ideal, since this will help keep the sun from warming the soil above it and thus keep the root cellar cooler. After the hole was dug, the next step was to set up a drainage system so water wouldn't collect in that area. Part of the perimeter drain for the house, the white pipe parallel to the house, was replaced so there would be places to attach drain pipes for the root cellar. Next, some crushed stone was spread on top of the hardware cloth. The rectangular tiles were used as footings to distribute the weight more evenly. It's important to check your local and state building codes to make sure that you're not in violation.